What is up everyone, it's Cody here. Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at an old video I did on how to install flush mount brake lights to your Jeep TJ. Today's video is gonna be on putting the four inch brake lights, flush mount brake lights into the back of a TJ. So this is pretty much what you're gonna need four and a half inch hole saw and obviously a drill to power that. Uh, I got this off eBay, so it was cheap. I think like 30 bucks. Uh, obviously you're gonna need the lights, Poison Spider sells them. You're also gonna need wire stripper, wire cutter, six wire butt connectors. Um, I'm using the insulationless ones, but obviously you can use the ones with insulation as well. I just don't like the way they look as much. Um, shrink wrap, you're gonna need that, and you're gonna have to take your stock brake lights out. All right, so if you haven't pulled your stock brake lights out yet, I'm gonna give you a quick down and dirty. I've had mine off for a while, so I'm not gonna be able to show you on the Jeep, but there's four screws in each corner. You're gonna go ahead and remove those. So once you have those four screws removed, you'll be able to pop the top off. Um, sometimes they fall right off. Sometimes you just gotta use a little screwdriver to get them out. But here you got your light, your two bulbs. <clears throat> and if you can look here, there's three bolt holes. That's where your bolts are gonna be. So you're gonna have a bolt on one side and you're gonna have a nut behind the tub. So you're gonna have to reach up underneath the tub on each side and get those nuts held with a wrench or something like that. And then you can zip these off. Uh, the only reason that I'm not going to show you guys how I did it is because I've had these on and off probably 10 or 20 times, and I don't know what size bolts were originally there. I had mixed match ones in here, and 90% of them broke off. So that's why I'm not showing it, but that's a down and dirty if you need to take your factory lights off. All right, guys, so this is it with it off. Um, don't mind the Sharpie mark or the rust. That's all getting fixed. But for this purpose, um, I'm moving my, I'm gonna move my lights in a little bit more. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna line up that bit that's in the center of the hole saw bit with this, what was the bolt hole for one of the brake lights. So I'm gonna line it up off that. It's gonna cut just about in there, but it's gonna shift this in a little bit more so I can get a little bit more cut out of the side here. So. That's what I'm gonna do. I have seen guys line them up in the center here and it comes out fine. You got a, you got a decent area of space here. You just have to watch where the tub comes in up top and uh, obviously the bend here. So let's get started on that. All right, so we got the big hole cut on the driver's side. There it is. Hole saw cut out. There's our old piece. So that's that. We'll go ahead and cut the other side real quick. Now we got this side cut, which means that we're done with the hole saw. There's a piece that came out of it. So again, you got a little lip right there, but that'll be covered up. So we got our holes cut. Now we can go ahead and start getting them put in and wired up. All right, so when you take this out of the package, you're gonna get your light, you're gonna get a little harness. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna pop the light out of this rubber portion here. And then this is actually gonna go in first, then you put the light in once you get it wired up. I'm gonna wire the pigtails first, and these are gonna be a little weird. It's not your traditional black is ground type deal. So with these, white is actually gonna be your ground wire. This red one right here is gonna be your stop and turn signal. And then this black one's gonna be your tail light wire. So we're gonna go up to the Jeep now. We're gonna get the wires stripped and the connector cut off. And then we're gonna get these butt connected into that. And then we'll be able to hook it up and go. All right, so this is your connector on the driver's side. As you can see, mine's broke. I was gonna run through the colors real quick. Black and yellow is gonna be your tail lights. 
green and red are going to be stop and turn signals, and then your purple and black are going to be the backup lights. So I won't be using that for this one right now. I have some backup lights I might be putting in later, but for right now we're just going to use the black and yellow and the green and red. And then when you ground it, don't mind the rust, that's all getting fixed. Um, this is where you'd be mounting your license plate if you were driving this on the road. And that's probably not a bad ground point if you wanted to grind that up and ground that third ground wire I was showing you before right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to snip these this connector off. Um, luckily, Jeep did have that for me because the wires are rotting out of this. So and that leaves us with this little pigtail. And I'm going to pull some of this electrical tape off and get these wires stripped. And, and then we're going to tuck the violet and black one away for right now. And I'm just going to concentrate on green and red. So we're going to wire strip here. And the black and yellow. So like I said, our black and yellow is going to be our tail light. Green and red is going to be our stop and turn lights. This is for backup lights. If you ever wanted to put some in, that's your signal wire for backup lights. So now that we're here, we're going to get some butt connectors and we're going to get our harness for this side. And we're going to start getting ready to get it wired up. And crip some butt connectors on the ends here and start getting ready to go. All right, and I actually messed up on the wiring for this. White is the ground, black is tail, red is stop and turn. So I just had the black and the red backwards on that, but it's my bad, sorry. So go ahead and do the same thing with this. Black and yellow to black. And then green and red is gonna go to red. All right, so those are crimped. Got my shrink wrap right here. It's a little, little too big, but it's the only stuff I have right this second, so. But we're just gonna make sure we shrink wrap all this up good. And then I also like to shrink wrap that wire we're not using, so that way I'm not worried about that getting corroded or messed up. So i got a little piece of shrink wrap right here. I'm just going to leave a little on the end there. That way it'll seal it up. Because I don't want that getting ruined. So do that. Just give that tail a little quick cut. And that'll be sealed up so we don't have to worry about it. So this harness is set up right now, except for the ground. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to probably weld a stud on the inside to put this ground wire to. But for right now, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and get a bolt and wire that right up to there. All right, so once you got your harness all done, tied up the way you want it, your grommet is next. Your grommet is going to go in. And just sit flush in there. Nothing, nothing fancy. Then you're going to take your light, your harness connector, and you're going to connect the two together. And we're looking at real, real tough stuff here. <laughs> and you're just going to pop your light in. 
preferably not like that. All right. And then there is your light all connected up, ready to go. All right, so this is the passenger side. Um, this is down by the frame. It's the easiest place to get out and be able to see it. So you'll notice there's more wires on this. These two wires, third brake light wires. So I will never be running a third brake light ever again. So I'm gonna snip those and they're gonna end up just getting, getting taped off. So you'll see there's four wires in this group. I'm gonna cut all four. And what you'll see is your black and yellow, so your tail lights. This is your backup lights, your purple and black. Green and red, left turn signal and brake lights. So that's for the other side. And then brown with red tracer is going to be your right turn signal and brake lights. So we've got a couple more wires we don't need now. Those are the two that we do need. And we're going to go ahead and get those wires stripped and get some butt connectors scrimped on the ends. All right, so we're going to get these two wires stripped. You have to bear with me. I'm uh, working at a rather odd angle right now, I'm trying to get a good camera angle. So that would be my snap on light blinding you guys. So those are stripped. Get some butt connectors on them. All right, those are wired, butt connectored, and we're gonna do this again. So black and yellow on the Jeep is going to go to the black on the new connector. And then our brown with red tracer on the Jeep is going to go to the red connector wire all right now we're gonna do the same thing I am going to heat shrink this stuff we got a couple little pieces of heat shrink we'll stick on the ends here just to keep them from getting corroded in case I ever need need them for some reason. Alright, now I always recommend you know you electrical tape all this stuff up. We're just gonna get this harness literally routed right back up where we took it out of so just gonna get it around this body puck and we'll send it up to the hole we one thing i actually failed to mention earlier was that you could actually take a small screw like i had before and you can ground this right up on the side on the inside here and that black grommet it will actually cover the bolt head so that's what i'm going to do on this side and then i'm actually going to do it on the other side too I just thought about it. Just, just put in a very, very small hole. Very small hole right there. And that's going to get covered right up as soon as we put that grommet on. There we are on this side. Do the same thing we did before. Grommet first. You'll see real quick here. I'll show you that that bolt gets covered right up with the grommet. You won't even know it's there. And that is a perfect ground for you. So get that plugged in here. Same thing as the other side. Get that plugged in. And you gotta fight with it to push it in, but they'll pop in. Um, it almost feels like you're gonna break the friggin' light. Which is always, always a possibility. And 
and there we are. So, like I was saying before, you can drill that screw and that screw sitting right down in here, completely covered. Wouldn't even know it's there. So, only thing left to do is test them out, make sure they work. So, there's a shot of them lit up. There is hazards, left turn signal, and right turn signal. So, all right guys, and that is how you put the flush mount circle tail lights in your Jeep YJ, CJ, or TJ. This is a super old video. I filmed probably five years ago and it just never made it on the channel. So kind of revamped it, modernized it a little bit. Hopefully you guys got some value from it. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.